What is up my spiritual butterflies, aka spiritual warriors? What is up and welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick video because um, as a chosen one, as a person who has been through a lot in life, right? Um, but every time I have been through a trial or situation in my life, God has always shown up for me. He always made a way for me. And I know that a lot of you guys can relate to that. Um, there are so many people out there who are um, against us, okay, because they know that we are not like them. They know that we are different and they are out there trying to truly, truly wish and pray on our downfall, as I've said before in another video. Um, but God is so present with, within us. Um, every single thing that these people are trying to brew up against you, against your name, against your character, wishing you that you um, low finances, wishing that you not find love, um, just wishing you nothing but negative, okay? All of these things that people are wishing on you is going to happen to them, okay? Sooner or later, all right? And it's not that you or me want these things to happen to these people because if you, if you are like me, you are focused on your own path, your own journey, you're doing you. But these people who are wishing your downfall, they're so focused on you. They're so focused on not wanting you to live your best life, not wanting you to um, gain a following, not wanting you to be the best version of you. Um, and for people like that, they need judgment. They need karma. And hopefully when God humbles them with that karma, then they could possibly change into a better person. Because we don't want people to, to be um, in lack. We don't want people to be without anything. We don't want people to receive bad karma. But in order to grow, it's like when you're a child, in order to grow into a, a nice young adult, you have to have discipline, right? These people who are our enemies, who are against us for no reason, they need discipline. They need judgment. And this is what God is going to do if he has not done it yet. Okay. Um, uh, we don't know necessarily why there's so many people against chosen ones. There's so many people who, who are like, who are you? How do you, you're a chosen one. You know, as I said before in another video, what does it matter to you? What does it matter to you if I say I'm a chosen one? What does it matter to you if a large collective say they're a chosen one? You know, they know you are a chosen one. They know that you are different. They know this. And that's why they hate so much on your light. You know what I mean? Um, instead of trying to do black magic on people, these people are, are doing black magic on you. Um, instead of doing that, they need to literally educate themselves and, and find love within themselves because they don't have love. But that's not for us to think about or worry about. We're going to let God take care of that. But my message for you is that there's so many people against you and up against you right now, especially if you are outspoken about being a chosen one. If you're outspoken saying, I am a chosen one, I am this, I am that, I am a healer. If you're outspoken about that, you have so many people pointing the finger at you like you're crazy. They're looking at you like you're crazy because they don't understand, you know, and we are nowhere near Jesus. But there are so many people who who were afraid of his light. They could they saw him doing good. You know what I mean? And they still wanted him dead. And we're not even Jesus. We're just little bitty old people, you know, living in, in his world. So the the amount of hate and evil that Jesus had for him back then is way, way worse now. People are crazy right now in, in today's day. So it doesn't matter, chosen one, if you are out there sharing your light. If you if they if they see you being positive, if they see you being insp inspiring to people, they see you um, contributing to the world. They're still gonna find some little bit some some problem with you to hate you, so that they can have validation or a reason or an excuse to hate you. And that is something that I understand now. You know what I mean? At first, I asked the question to myself: Well, Pamela, why are these people like this with me? When I do nothing but bring laughter, fun, excitement, and they they still find a problem with me. It's because they can see the light and the beauty in me. They can see God's hands on me. And they are jealous and envy of me and you. And they're afraid of 
once God completely opens up the door for us, which he will do chosen ones, once he completely opens up that door, because we have learned the lessons that he has given us. Once we open up that door, what's behind it is absolutely amazing. And that's what they're afraid of. So I want you to continue on this journey. Okay. Cause if you haven't reached that door already, it's coming for you. Okay. It's going, God is going to present it to you and you're going to open it and nothing but fruits will be blessed upon you. Nothing. Whatever you touch, whatever you work on is going to be fruitful. Okay. Keep going. I love you. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.